And then I noticed this old Guatemalan guy. Face like an old shoe. And he walked across the room. And there in the corner, I hadn't seen it before, was this jukebox. And he put in a coin. And he pressed three buttons.
my house. It took us about three and a half hours to get back home, but I enjoyed the game. The only thing that I did not enjoy is, I don't know if you can notice my face, my hands, and parts of my upper neck and stuff like that is extremely red. I got sunburned extremely bad. Call me an idiot all you want, and I will take it because I think I am an idiot for this. But I didn't even think to bring sunscreen. The spot that we were sitting at, the sun just kept beaming down on us the entire game. But, you know, it's okay. We won. I am 1-3 when seeing the Yankees, so I finally got to watch them win. And I actually would have got to see them win again. We were actually thinking about going to the doubleheader game, the second game that night. But we decided to come back home because my mom needed to come back home. And plus, I was getting sick. Like, by the time the game ended, I was so sunburned, looked like a lobster. And I was completely just sick. Like, my nose is all stuffy and clogged up. My throat hurts. Yeah, it's just a huge mess. So, we decided to come back home. But I did get some cool souvenirs. And I mean, I know this isn't Yankees related, but you know, I'll definitely wear this sometime. So let me stand up for you guys. Some Royals, it's a Royals jersey. Doesn't have any names on it. It just says Miller Lite on the back. We actually had to be 21 or older to get the shirts. I don't even think they were ID most people. Some people didn't even look like they were 21, but they were just hand shirts out to them or jerseys, whatever you want to call this. But yeah, it's really nice. It's really good material. I'll probably wear it one of these days. Uh, I do end up wanting to collect every single hat for every single MLB team and every single jersey that I possibly can, even if it is the Red Sox. I'm just a big collector and I'm a big, huge fan of baseball in general. So I also did get this Royal Baseball. So just to kind of add it to my collection, I have four baseballs over there. It's not a lot, but this is just kind of something I decided I wanted to do just recently. I have a Red Sox ball. Yes, I have a Red Sox ball. I actually got that a long time ago. It has a clock in it too, which is really interesting. I'll have to show you guys that in another video. But I also have a Yankees ball, Cardinals ball, and a Texas Rangers ball. I was actually going to get one that wasn't this one. There was a lot that I was trying to choose from because I'm very indecisive. I didn't know which ball to get. But there was actually one that had Jorge Soler's number and his name on there. Just like the Ranger one I have over there has Michael Young's number there and his name. But... I decided not to because it was almost $20 like for a dang baseball that is way too expensive I mean this was like $13 by itself but that thing was almost 20 bucks and I'm like okay I'm just gonna go with this one this one's fine it looks really nice I like the blue I mean I don't know I, I like all these blue because I know a lot of people might not be a fan of like this kind of baby blue but I don't know a blue is a blue and I love blue so those are the two things that I did get from the game what an incredible game Let's start off, Clint Frazier, you know, he does not waste any time putting the Yankees in the lead 2-0 in the first inning, so that was great. Then, you know, you come up with Luke Voigt's mammoth home run, and it was funny because I was sitting there right next to my mom, and I was like, you know, I really want to see a home run, at least one home run from the Yankees this game, and it would be really nice if someone hit a home run. And right then and there, like not even 30 seconds later, I'm not even kidding, Freaking Luke Voigt comes up and smashes it. About 470 feet, if I'm not mistaken. That was a mammoth. It actually landed in the bushes area. If you guys know where I'm talking about, the bushes area of Kauffman Stadium. There was a bunch, and I mean, there was like 10 or 11 kids trying to get in there, trying to find the baseball. Like, they were all trying to get it. Definitely some legends over there trying to get that baseball. I don't know if they got it. I don't think they ever did get it. But yeah, that was absolutely a mammoth shot. That was insane how far that went. And then you tack on some other runs, such as the bases loaded opportunity with Estrada bringing in two runs for the insurance runs. And the pitching was outstanding. You know, Hap, he did give up that three-run homer, but that's the only runs that the Royals scored. And you can't ask much more than that. I mean, the pitching was outstanding, even though Hap gave up that. Still pitched outstanding. The bullpen was fantastic. Everything was just splendid. It was all great and can't ask much more than that especially since we won the game and very first Yankees game I've ever actually been to that we've won because I don't know I have terrible luck I'm not really sure what it is but it was really fun that was the first time I've actually been to Kauffman Stadium too it's a very pretty stadium I love the scoreboard that's actually probably my favorite thing about the stadium and I love the waterfalls I was actually joking to my mom I was like we need to go dip into those waterfalls because my skin is very red. I'm getting sunburned. I'm getting sick. I just want to cool off because it was so hot and humid that day, guys. Can't even, even tell you guys how hot and humid it was today. Very hot and humid. Even when you were getting a slight breeze, it felt like we were in like a 32 degree cooler. Like it felt fantastic. 
But other than that, I hope you guys did enjoy the vlog. This is something that I would like to do more often. I do have some vlogs that are pretty late. I'm not gonna lie. Some are all the way back from March and early April, but I still feel like you guys might enjoy it and I'm gonna post them eventually one of these days when I decide that I want to and not be so dang lazy and get them up for you guys. But if you guys did enjoy the vlog, make sure you do subscribe. Make sure you do click that bell notification so you never miss a video of mine unless YouTube screws up somehow because they always find a way to do that somehow. Also, make sure you do like the video. Make sure you do comment. Let me know what you guys think about the vlog and what else you would like to see on my channel. Without that, we are going to go ahead and close off the vlog. See you guys later. Have a fantastic day and please don't do anything stupid that I wouldn't do. Have a great day, guys.